Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right. Hey, welcome. We're going to be messing around this Monday with a uh, little something something. Yeah, it's not a kit bash. It's going to be uh, a custom, and we're going to use this little bugger right here. Yeah, uh, fortunately for me, uh, I have a few of these enough to, um, yeah, monkey around with one. Um, as you uh, know, I... I got a video, uh, we'll tag it at the end. We do drill one of these apart. So we take it out of the box and this is the uh, bugger right here. And uh, we are going to make this bugger into a convertible. That's right, we're gonna cut one of these apart. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you are uh, at all squeamish of heart and uh, yeah, uh, big, big matchbox lover, um, maybe you might look away. Maybe you might look away. But uh, let's take a look at it. So this is our 2020 Land Rover Defender. Uh, this one here is a metal rivet per se, a mushroom post. And this one here is a plastic one that uh, holds on this whole top and then it hooks into right down here. And uh, we're gonna take a look at that and uh, see, um, yeah, just exactly how um, we're gonna do this. Uh, so I got the video here. Uh, I'm sorry, we're still uh, working on editing and making things all uh, neat and beautiful and stuff like that. But anyway, in the video you can see that uh, I take it, it's, it's drilled out, and then I take the window and I tape off what I want to keep. So I tape off and, and in the video uh, you will see um, just exactly how I do it. Then I do use a cutting wheel and then I, I put it in a jig. Um, this post that comes down through here. I put it on a piece of wood so then I can hold it a little bit better and then get a, uh, a better cut at it. And as you see in the video, I'll, I'll be cutting in one direction and uh, that's because the spin of the cutting wheel uh, kind of pushes the plastic out of the way. If you go back and forth, you're just you know, creating uh, more interference so you can see what you're doing. So you kind of do it one way, so you kind of push the plastic off out of the way so you can see it. Then once I do the top, which is the heavier uh, part, then I take it out of the jig and I go ahead and uh, slice it right down the sides there. So that's kind of what we're gonna do. Um, then once we get that done, then we'll come back and I'll show you some tips and techniques on how I clean it up. All right, so let's take a look at this video and uh, see exactly how I went ahead and did this.
All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So this is it. Here it is. All right, here you go. So this is the finished product. As you see, I, I drilled it out. It was nicely drilled out. And this is it. What a beauty. We found out from the other video there that it had an interior. You can't hardly see it with this uh, dark roof uh, with the, the windows. So you can't see it. But we got a little Easter uh, Easter egg in there. Now, the, the seats are a little wanting. But, uh, yeah, not too bad. At least they're there. They could be a little bit more detailed and such and so forth. But as you see, and I gotta be careful to hold this because I, I didn't uh, drill and tap this, so it'd be the only one to hold it is the front one, but it does pretty good. This uh, spare tire kind of locks into the body there. And um, so yeah, I could just drill and tap that, which I have, I just didn't do. But you can see where I come across there. Uh, it could take a little bit more time to clean it up, but I just wanted to put this video together and real quick and just kind of show you what this would look like as a convertible. The other thing too is I didn't take the time and uh, plug that hole. We could uh, take some styrene um, plastic and cover the, the floor per se and fit that in there. Or we could make a tawny cover on the top because it has, does have a, a lip there that we could do that. So anyway, so let's take this apart and kind of see what we're dealing with, all right? All right, so here we go. It's just good. Now it's going to stick together as a, as a bugger. So first off, let's take a look at this here. Uh, you can see it would be kind of easily to, you know, the spare tire is in the way, but it could easily fit um, a piece of styrene over that hole, get it to match up really kind of nice and neat there. Uh, the other thing you could do is just uh, go ahead and uh, see if you could tape that off and then uh, put, um, I don't know, hot glue or some kind of a body putty in there. So uh, when you pull off the tape, it would be flat surface there too. But uh, yeah, so anyway, so there you go. There's the base. There's the interior, which is the eyebrows. And then you can see this has got the tabs there that the uh, windshield uh, hooks into. Now it goes, it goes on the top, through the top is the way it goes. You have to put it in like this and then, and then uh, hold on to it there and then put it on your car to, uh, to get it to, to assemble right, okay? All right, so anyway, so once I got that cut, of course you always have um, the boogers of the melted plastic. And so what I like to do is kind of shaping is I like to just take a little bit and I back scratch with a, a, a razor blade. And you can kind of get that down to where it doesn't look white. And I guess that's what I would do. And you can kind of shape it. And as you see, you know, I kind of tried to make it straight across there. I think I got a little bit of a bump there. But that way you, you don't do a lot of sanding per se. And so, you know, you don't have to do a lot of polishing. But just take that razor blade and, and or X-Acto knife, whatever you want, and do it backwards, not, not forwards, because then you'll gouge. But just go ahead and uh, back scratch that till you get it uh, nice and clean. So that's kind of what I did there. The other thing you can do and I always carry a handy dandy uh, Sharpie, is you can come back and just kind of accent that a little bit like that so you can make it uh, so there's no, none of that, uh, you know, uh, cut plastic kind of being lighter color than the, uh, the rest of it. So now it looks more like a frame. But then too, this is, helps kind of see you can kind of see, uh, you know, kind of where it's not flat. Um, you can use uh, some sandpaper, you know, in uh, flat surface, sandpaper that, you know, so you kind of get it, but you got to be careful. You know, it is plastic, you know, so yeah. All right, so that is kind of it. Uh, that's uh, now I'm hoping um, they did this with the uh, 
Matchbox did the, or did this with the Evoke. They, um, if you remember, I don't think I have one right here. Well, kind of. Hold on. Let me grab this one here. Oh. All right. All right. So they did this with the Evoke. Now, they went a step further and they made it, um, you know, with the opening doors. But that Evoke had an in, uh, interior, you know. Uh, the 2015 was a hard top. The, the 2016, I just dropped that and caught that. Thank you very much. Cat-like reflexes. So there you go. So uh, I'm hoping that further on down the road that uh, Matchbox would do that because that looks awesome, huh? All right. Well, thanks for joining me. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the uh, little song there while I was cutting. You don't want to listen to a Drummel go. <laughs> so there you go. I hope you enjoyed that. A little custom job with the Matchbox Land Rover Defender 90 right here on Roverland. All right, give me a thumbs up if you like this stuff, and smash the like button and subscribe. And that's it. So this is your friend Dano. Remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day in focus.